and welcome to another video. So I said a couple times that I'm buying a house and I did. Me and my fiance, we bought a house and that means we're moving. I can just package up all of these books or maybe I could do an unhaul. <laughs> I figure it's probably best to unhaul some of these books because some of them I'm just never going to get to, some of them I have duplicates of, and it's just it's time. <laughs> it's time to let go. So we're doing an unhaul. Before we get into the unhaul, I did buy a couple of books. So we'll do like a mini haul before I do an unhaul. So I bought three books. <laughs> um, this one I already talked about. It's on my TBR for April. It's Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. This is a psychological thriller and I'm just very excited to get to it. And then I bought The Selection by Kira Cass. From what I know, this is a book that a lot of people my age read when they were teenagers, I guess. I don't know. I never read it but I heard it compared to like The Bachelorette but like as royalty <laughs> and I'm here for it. I love all those like stupid dating shows and stuff so I'm excited to see it in a book. And then I bought Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I read this when I was in maybe eighth grade and I absolutely loved it. Like it was top tier, loved it, amazing. And so I got it because I want those feel good feelings back <laughs> and I'm just hoping that I love it now as much as I did in eighth grade which was I don't know 15 years ago. <laughs> I don't remember too much about this book besides that it's like a YA romance and one of the people in the romance is an angel and like that's really all I know. So another reason why this unhaul was kind of inspired was I bought these two books on this book app that I can't remember what it's called <laughs> but basically it's like eBay but for books so people like list their used books and they can sell them and I was like that's an excellent idea. I listed these two books and then I figured you know what let's just do a whole unhaul. So this one is Life As We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeffer. I actually have two copies of this. This is like a newer copy and then my copy is up there and it's hardcover and it's like all tabbed up. So I figured I don't really need two copies even though this is definitely my favorite book but or you know at least one of them. I've talked about this one before so I'm just gonna say it's like an end of the world kind of book where like the moon gets pushed closer to the earth and people lose electricity and it's about this like 16 year old and her family and how they try to survive and I, I loved it. I love disaster books. And then it's Ada or a Door by Vladimir Nabokov. I actually have two copies of this. And this one is much prettier and it kind of matches the other Nabokov books I have. I took an author class in college and the author for the class was Vladimir Nabokov. That's why I have so many of those. But yeah, so I don't really need this big brick of a book if I already have the paperback and it matches. Obviously for this unhaul, I'm not going to be including these books because I'm not going to unwrap them and go through them to get rid of books. I don't even really remember what they all are. So we're going to just pretend this does not exist. The books up here are all on my recent TBR so those also aren't going to be touched as well as these are on my soon TBR so also not going to be touched. <laughs> if we start all the way on the bottom this is like my bottom shelf and we have cat toys. <laughs> None of these I want to get rid of. These are all like part of my series. I got my golden compass, um, flowers in the attic, 50 shades, twilight, lightning thief. This is not getting touched. This shelf most likely not getting touched either. We got my divergence, harry potters. No, these are staying. <laughs> So moving on to this shelf, this is also another shelf I really like. My Greer Hendrix, those are staying. Lie to me. Oh, this was a good one. This was um, a psychological thriller, but like a domestic psychological thriller. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> a domestic psychological thriller, and it's about this like couple and one of them goes missing and the husband is accused of murdering her and it's just excellent. That stays. American Psycho stays. First time she drowned. I don't think I'll read this again. Ooh, I tabbed it though. Maybe I will. I have some kind of emotional attachment to books that I've tabbed. That can stay. We were liars. Obviously that's staying. All my Tasha Prestons, all my Gillian Flynn's. These are staying. These are staying. These are all staying. <laughs> um, Death of a Krabby Cook. <sighs> mm, I didn't love this one. I was get okay, so I got this book because I was gonna make a video on it, and then I got too lazy and I didn't make the video, but maybe one day I will. <laughs> oh no, I can already see the path that this is taking. Graphic novels, My Walking Dead, those are staying. Okay, <laughs> let's go up a shelf. So these are all my Stephen King books and I'm currently trying to read all of these. So these are staying too. So we'll go up another shelf. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's just tricky because a lot of these books 
I got second copies of because my original copies got left at my dad's house and I like don't have access to those anymore. So I got them so I can have them on my shelf and it makes it hard to get rid of them. <laughs> Not getting rid of my mermaid books. Fable, I just liked it. The Hate List, I definitely don't suggest this one. This one is about horrible things that happen in schools. So I don't think I'm gonna get rid of that one. This, oh, this one was so bad. <laughs> I think I'm finally gonna get rid of this one. I think I talked about wanting to get rid of it in my last unhaul and I just didn't because like I have these emotional attachments to these books and I have no idea why. Because this one, I absolutely hated it, but I can remember when I was reading it. Like I remember sitting in the car, driving through the roads of California, reading this. Nope, I'm getting rid of it. Nope. I didn't like it. Did I? I didn't. Mm. Why is it so hard to get rid of books? Nope, I'm getting rid of it. It's time. Okay, next. Paper Towns. I stole that from somebody, so I can't get rid of it. No, same. No, no. Oh, this one was really good. Actually, did I read this? I haven't read this. <laughs> I don't know why this is on this shelf. I haven't read this. Okay, Maximum Ride. That's staying. I only have the first two books in the Maximum Ride series. These are by James Patterson, and they're amazing. I highly suggest reading them. This is my copy of Life As We Knew It, and I have like all the tabs. The ones are meant to find, keep, nerve. I liked this, and I watched the movie, and I liked the movie too. It's kind of funky. I think I'm gonna keep it. Okay, forget tomorrow. I did not like this. I didn't enjoy it. I thought it was stupid. I said I was gonna get rid of it in my last unhaul, and then I didn't. It's time. It's time. We're grown ups now. It's time. Magician's nephew stays forever. Grab for the Overlander, Poison, City of Bones, Aragon. This is actually my signed copy of Aragon. Okay, so now we're on my top shelf. I know it's kind of hard, like this angle isn't the best. Um, this is a lot of my books that I read for college, for high school, all that fun. These are staying. March graphic novels. These are really good. The Giver stays. Glass Alice stays. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Oof, I'm never gonna read this again. <laughs> what an interesting bookmark. I'm probably never gonna get rid of this, but like I feel smart having it on my bookshelves. <laughs> I don't know. Gone with the Wind. I made it this far into it and I just, I feel incomplete. Like I have to finish that one. Parks and the Wallflower stays. Sister Carrie stays. Yeah, those are all gonna stay. Okay, maybe let's not go one by one. <laughs> what was this one even about? Oh, this one's tab two. Oh, it's written in two, but I gotta keep that. The Age of Dreaming. I don't remember what this book is about. This one's not tabbed. Oh yeah, this is about an actor. Hmm. It stays. Um, all of these are staying. The Reluctant Fundamentalist. I didn't enjoy this book. It does have some writing in it. Honestly, I think I was just too dumb to understand this one. I had to read it for a, um, like a cultural literature class. I mean, I heard that this was really good and I know that it is like really good. It's just, I, did, I think I was just too dumb to read it. Yeah, it's about a Pakistani man living in New York around the um, September 11th. So it's, it's definitely, uh, it's, mm. Sorry, but I'm never gonna read this again. Of Mice and Men stays Crying of Lot 49. What was this even about? I think it's time for this one to go too. I, I don't even know what it's about anymore. Oh, this book. Oh no, I hated this book. I also think I was just too stupid to get this one. Um, it's time. It's time for this to go. There's definitely some writing in here. No, it's time. Goodbye. Things they carried. Stay, Starboard Sea stays, Cannery Row, John Steinbeck. I was also too stupid to get this one. Uh, what's John Steinbeck? You know what? We'll keep it. Maybe eventually I'll read it when I reread of Mice and Men because I want to do that sometime soon. Okay, Benito Sereno, I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of. I hated this. I hated it so much, but I made it through. Like, I got all the way through this book. I did it. <laughs> so, this is an accomplishment and it's staying. The Great Gatsby, nobody would get rid of that. The Bell Jar, still Alice. Okay, um, well, I feel like I did nothing. I feel like I got rid of nothing. 
Okay, so I had like a little pile of books over there and just went through it real quick and I'm gonna be getting rid of these two also. Chasing River is like a book three or two or something. It's it's in the middle of a series and I don't have the first couple books. I haven't read the first couple books and so I'm just like... Oh, there's tickets in here. Interesting. <laughs> But yeah, so um, I'm going to get rid of this one, and then if I start reading the series, I'll just buy it again. So this one, The Fifth Wave, I tried reading it a couple times, and I just, I don't vibe with the writing style. I actually hated it when I first tried reading it, and I just, I can't get into it. But I love, like, I love dystopian books, and I love, like, apocalypse and stuff like that. And it's just, like, I wanted to like it really bad, and I just didn't. You know what, maybe I'll give this one a second try because last time I tried to read it was like five years ago and I'm a different person now. <laughs> maybe I'll like it this time. Okay, so like it's not a ton of books, but it's definitely like a good chunk of books. Like this would definitely make a box heavy. Yeah, you know what, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> it's not that many, it's a mini unhaul, but like it is what it is. Like I did better this time, I think, than the last time I tried to unhaul some books. <laughs> So if I'm only improving by 1%, then that's good enough. Yeah, so I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry that there's no real schedule with these videos coming out. I'm doing them as I can, but thank you for your patience. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.